Hello, everybody. I thought today, but we'll talk about that feeling that we're heading towards the holiday season slowly, gently. It's October, but November, November, will be around the corner. And I sometimes wake up feeling the wreck of the Hesperus. I say this word often. It's irritating as hell, but you know when you just feel everything is going south, you feel you're going south. I put on sequins today because I've got to go out tonight. And, um, and I need to know that I can get through the day feeling well. I'm shouting heavily because we've got cars outside, but I'm really hot. Um, so that's where we're going. I've got a lovely, um, before you all ask about the suit, it's from an Australian brand. Joey the label, Australian, great. And I'm wearing it with a really old Celine coat, which I'm gonna take everything off because I'm really, really, really flushing as well. But um, yes, yeah, so I've got water here and I've got all the things on the table that I use when I want to go from looking in the mirror feeling cat sick dropped up to showing, shining, glorious. Now I'm gonna start off with what I do when I'm feeling I wake up and I need some assistance. So the first thing I tend to do is I put on a mask before I do anything. And the mask I usually go with is Dr. Seabag. There's two masks, but I love this mask. It's a acid mask. And there's one like this, which is quite strong and leaves a tingle. My skin is clean, by the way, I washed it this morning. And there's one for sensitive skin, which is great, because if you want to have that glow in your face, this is the mask to do it. I've used this mask for about, I've used this mask since he invented it, because I remember lying on his bed having Botox, and he um, told me he was going to do this mask. I don't know where it was in the order of his products, but anyway. Of all the things that he makes, this is one of my favorite. So I put that on, and what that would do is the sort of acids in it are going to eat away at my dead skin cells, for want of a better word, and it's going to just take off, slosh off that really extra tired looking feeling on a face, and I think that's what masks like this do. Now, um, Seabag is a bit of a penny, spend a penny moment, so there are others that I like. What stimulated me to think about today um, sheet mask, hydrating mask, purifying mask. I have every bloody mask here. Um, and I don't have that. Wren is similar to this one. I wish I could find the Andalou because it's such a good price. Just take my word for it that Andalou do a fruit enzyme mask, which you can get in Whole Foods, which is about 12 quid. Sea bags is more than that, but really good. Wren do a lactic acid mask. But this is stage one of my mask moment today because I will do more than one mask. This is like a sort of 35 minute treatment that I will do. It's my facial at home and it would change my face from feeling really tired and drained to uplifted and ready for anything. And I think we all need that arsenal in our house, in our bathroom, that we can gravitate towards when we're feeling, ugh, you know, our face isn't looking great. And I think different, different things add to, um, our face is not looking good. I mean, not looking like we want them to look. It could be your, you've got blemishes. That's an immediate one I used to have. It could be you haven't slept and you wake up feeling the tiredness. And when you look in the mirror, you think you see the tiredness. You probably see it 10 times more than it's actually there. But I grew up with a mum who always would say to me, you look so tired. Something I really, really try not to say to my daughter. And then you've got days when you woke up, maybe you indulged too much. And you could have indulged with alcohol, you could have indulged with chocolate bars and sugar, you could have indulged whatever. But you wake up and you feel that your skin is dehydrated and dry and sapped of all its energy. Um, could be what you call a hangover. Um, what are the other things that could make our face? Stress, grief, going through illness. You know, these three things also contribute to us looking in the mirror and feeling drained, and exhausted. So I will start off with some kind of exfoliating mask and it will be a fruit acid mask or a glycolic mask, whatever it might be. Usually I put it on like this and then I just do this weird thing because these kind of masks get a bit sticky and I just press in and I lift off. And I do this because the first one time I used a mask like this was a brand called Cosmetics IX and they had a grapefruit mask a fruit grapefruit mask and I did this with a facialist she did it on my skin and I thought that's quite interesting just because they're quite sticky you're lifting up and waking up your skin 
and at the same time you're pressing the product into your skin. So I like to do this other thing, which is skin movement. And I think a few of you feel I'm quite rough with my skin, but I do love doing this and it really helps. So I have this on for about eight minutes and my last little thing I might do is just do a little bit of a up massage. Then I take a cloth like this and I will just take it off. Okay, so we've done that. Now, next stage could be two things, but what it would probably be for me is a little machine. So I'm gonna do this souped up. I do this normally for longer than I'm gonna do it, but I'm just gonna show you how I do it. I take View, I've got the wrong one here, but I've got a um, ultrasound gel, all right? I use View. There is, you know, these brands I'm gonna use next, they both come with gels, but in all honesty, this is actually exactly the same as those other gels. So I'm gonna put this on, and I'm gonna focus on a few different areas. So I'll put that on like that. And I will take my Face Gym Pro. Now Face Gym Pro, I love. I love the shape of it, actually. I find it's very tactile to use. And when I use it, you know, I feel very much uh, like this. My lip, is, my lip is going like that, can you see? I really feel it's working. I've just charged this one up actually, so it's much stronger than normal. I do new face and I do actually put it on the highest. Now when I do new face, I don't feel the woo that I feel with the face gym. They're both microcurrent tools and their intention for both of them is to tighten the muscles underneath your epidermis so that you just get a tiny bit of lifting. The only way these work is consistency. If you don't do it enough, they just won't have any effect. So don't waste your money. They're expensive. This is like nearly 400 pounds. This can be 100 and something if you buy the travel version, which is as good as the bigger version, and I would. So if you're on a budget, I buy the new face smaller. If you're not on a budget, I probably would buy the Face Gym Pro. Um, and it is like going to a salon because I remember when I did the Casey facelift and I think to myself, those were 200 pounds a session or something. So, you know, these work for years. I don't know, you've got to work out, do you have this in your budget? Would you want to do this? But if you do commit to it, you've got to do it every few days. And my routine is I usually start off and I just follow the muscle up that holds my face up. Do it quite slowly. You're meant to wait till the buzzer ends. All right, like that. There, and push it up. And it's very, very good for the eyes. I do it to get overhang eyes, but I turn it down because you want to be careful around the orbital lobe. And I don't want to have it on the highest um, marking because I'm going round the eye. And you've got to, I just think you should be aware of that and be careful. So I just go round here like this. They do have one just for the eye area. Um, and something you can put on the end, the face gym does, but I just don't think I need it, I use this. So I lift up my brows and I just let that current go over my eyebrows like that. So I'm sort of pulling one way. And then I do this movement, which sort of pushes them up like I do when I'm doing my F off finger moment. Keep it there and then I continue up. Everyone has different ways they use these tools and I've used these tools for about 10 years now. So over the years, I've really found what works for the shape of my face and which part of my face I want to help because we all have different things. So some people might not need to lift up their overhanging eyes, but I do, a part of when I'm tired. And at the very beginning of this film, we're talking about all things to lift your face. Dragging down eyelids is the thing that makes me feel that dragged down look. Okay, so I've done those now. This is taking a little bit longer. But that's probably how long I'll do. My skin is really getting better. Do you see that? And these are just, these are things I've refined for years and years and years to kind of get myself into a good place. Now from here, I could do one of two things. I could go into a stress reducing mask, like a lovely hydrating mask, or I could just go on with my skincare. So I'm gonna show you the hydrating masks that I love. Um, I think that number seven beautiful skin I've used for years, and it's just gloriously hydrating. And I will do some massage with it, and it works really well. Sizzly Black um, Rose is my favorite one, and it's really expensive. I usually buy it at Duty Free, because it's so expensive, but I adore it. And when I'm traveling a lot, it's the one that just gives me that 
like I'm in a pillow of lovely, just full yumminess. Um, and then the Intensity Stress Mask from Jane Shrivener, I love as well. Now there are masks that revitalize and I wanted to try today this mask, which was Biocellulose. And it's a decree mask, I have not tried it before. And it says for kind of exactly the skin I was describing. So develop to work in synergy with your daily, weekly water. <laughs> Rose extract repairs, brightens, deeply hydrates, hyaluronic acid, silk amino acids to repair and restore skin barriers and comfort even the most sensitive skin types. So we'll put it on, but what I'm gonna do, and this is the joy, of a biocellular mask, which looks, I mean, it looks like a piece of meat you haven't yet cooked. It looks like a Ville Milanese before it became a Ville Milanese. <sighs> okay, so it's got this like bit in between and you have to find the biocellulose bit because you think, is that the biocellulose bit? You think, I don't know. And then you think, is that the biocellulose bit? And you realize that you have to put it on like this, like this. Oh, it smells delicious. Can I just say the smell is divine? And I'm just going to take that excess because it's quite a lot it. And then you peel this off. Now, there should be the biocellulose that appear. And the biocellulose is like a rubber johnny. It's that feeling. It's that, you know, that flaccid lump. Now, what's interesting in biocellulose land is they've kind of taken over from dry sheet masks because dry sheet masks have been deemed bad for the environment. Although... One I think is very good is these little masks, which I get at Victoria Health, which are for spots and they're targeted and they're the good targeted ones. There's some which are really bad. And I use, when I was in America last year, I would do the biocellulose mask. I'll put the LED on top. So I'm gonna do that now. I used to love the other LED mask, whose name I can't remember, Light Salon, okay? And then I was sent this by Current Body. Now this seems similar to the number seven. I just don't know what's the difference between all of them. Number seven is the cheapest, it's like 79 pounds. Way cheaper than this and way cheaper than the light salon. So I'm lost as to who's nicking whose technology and which one works best. But what I do know is when you put it on this one, and I'm putting it on, you'll notice, over the Biocellulose mask, is um, that it is just backwards that you can tuck it in so I feel is it going to stay on do I have to be lying down and the joy of the light salon is it had something for my head as well so I'm gonna to have to put this on really tightly and then if I do it tight enough I was thinking maybe then it would just stay on my face but I'm gonna to have to hold it up which I find very unsatisfying I have to say so this though is a great routine and I have used this routine a lot you've all seen me it's come undone again very, very irritating. Very irritating. I'm going to go insane. Excuse me, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose the bloody pot. This is going to drive me absolutely mad. Absolutely mad. Okay, I gotta say to those people, sorry, that was such a tantrum moment, wasn't it? But it's like, what the light salon has done is they've done a top and a side, and that meant that I could walk around and it wouldn't have to be charging and I wouldn't have issues around it. Now this one hasn't done that because obviously they can't copy somebody else exactly. This is what's going to happen in this copy copy world, isn't it? It's a copy copy world, but I want to be determined and do it and show you. So I'm going to try it once more to the breach, dear friends. Yeah. And I'm just going to hold it there. I'm just going to put my gloves on, glasses on. Um, there, right there, and then I'm going to Make the start, press, there. So it's on, okay? Um, this might seem an incredibly long and convoluted exercise. This is not something I do every day, this whole lot together, but I will do it when I've got a big event and I will do it when I'm traveling and I've got to do a lot of press. And I do find that it's like I've spent two hours at a facialist and it's taken me probably about 25 minutes. And generally, I'll wake up, I'll do the quick um, exfoliate from sea bag. Then if I'm having a shower, I might keep that on so that I'm saving time and I have my shower. And then I'll go and do a little bit of, you know, kind of massaging my face as I'm sitting on the loo. You know, and I just try and multitask, multitask, multitask. This is so extreme for you. And you might think, is she insane? And I would never do that. But I do think we get to a stage in our life where we do want that 
nurturing moment. And I do like to nurture my skin. I like to feel that I'm doing stuff for my skin and if I can do it easily, even better. Oh, it's done. Oh, I've cooked. I normally do this. Um, twice, I do it for 20 minutes. I think that was just 10 minutes. But the mask is coming off too. Oh my Lord, was that just like a drama? I'm just gonna look at the face. So there's nice bits of the mask left in. I like biocellulose because I feel with biocellulose, and I didn't mention that, that if you do a sheet mask, the LED can't go through it, but biocellulose, it can. The reason I know it can is the light fell on, did some biocellulose masks to go under their LED. So it's a one mask you can use. Now the Decree mask, I have to say, there's quite a lot of hyaluronic in it, so my skin feels sticky. And I don't love how sticky it's feeling. Feeling very sticky. I'm not good when hyaluronic feels too sticky. Um, it could have been that I've actually made the, maybe the biocellulose mask is sort of melting, but I don't think so. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm just gonna take off that layer of stickiness. Mm. And I'm gonna end up with the last thing I do. I do. Um, before my makeup, which is I will take the Sizzly Black Rose Mask. I don't use much. It's really, really expensive. I literally, I go like that. And I put it on like a moisturizer. The smell is unbelievable. Put it on. Don't know what the ingredients are. I just know that my skin responds really well to it. Under the jawline like that. And then I'll probably take as my last bit of this. It is my Sunday facial, ladies, so forgive the amount of stuff that you're showing you can do. And you can always do just a section of this, you know, you need to do all of it. You can just do a bit of it. I'll take a hey you. Hey you like this. And like this. Oh, it's like we're a little kind of, um, I don't know, what's I going to say? Scientist lab here. And then I start off and I do the locations like this. You could just do this in the morning. It's wonderful, Gracia. You want to activate the energy around your face. So I do five like that. You've got a red cheek for a second. And I'll go down to the clavicle. So you want to go right down, down to the clavicle, down to the clavicle. I would probably normally put the sizzly all the way. And I feel by doing this with the gray show, I really push the product in too. So I love that combined effort. Like that. down, releasing all those toxins. For the person who said before, how do I depuff my skin and release the toxins? I love doing this and I take that little curly bit of it and I'm going like that, up to my clavicle and going like this. If you don't want to spend any money, you can get some spritzer of rose water, put it on your face and you can get a um, Chinese spoon and you can get a round Chinese spoon and do it with this. Chinese spoon, literally do that because it's made of stone and that's kind of the feeling you want when you're doing this. And then you could do little like that. I have to be very careful when I do this on my forehead because the skin on my forehead is really thin. So I do this very gently, but just that opening out that third eye. Opening out that third eye, you sweep the cloth. You can do your eyebrows a bit like that. Just say hello and wake up. I need to get a bit more of that. That sizzly has all gone in because I really needed it. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit more around my eye area and I'm nearly done here. Like that, just that last thing. Like that. Oh. oh my God. So that did take longer than it would normally take for me because I cook about 40 minutes. But this gave you a selection of things that you could do for your face to wake it up. My face might look a bit red now, mainly because I, I love, I kind of love a red face. It will go down because I like to feel the stimulation that my skin has had, and that is my skin saying, I'm not dead anymore, I'm not feeling drained anymore, I'm alive and I'm present. So um, from this, I might just put on a bit of BFF. Um, I might do a light coverage today. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna do a mix today. I'm going to do BFF SPF 30, because you should always end with a bit of an, with a bit of an SPF 30. So I'll just put that on. There. There. Oh, my skin does feel great, actually. I haven't taken off that sizzly mask. Do you notice it's like a leave-in mask? And sometimes I tissue it off. 
but I feel I want that real glow on my skin today, so I'm not gonna do that. And then I'm going to go on to rebalance instead of de-stress because I don't need to deal with the stress on my skin because I have, but I do want the slight soft matte finish of rebalance like that. And I'll just rub it in like it's a moisturizer. And you see how much it covers and tones down redness immediately. It's got wonderful ingredients in it, like niacinamide, chlorella vulgaris, non bioactives, and all these things contribute to reducing any kind of congestion on the skin, but also the finish on that is just that really nice finish. So even with all my masks underneath and everything that I've put on before, I'm not quite as, maybe I'm not quite as glowy as I would have been just with um, BFF. Hope today was interesting. I know it was all li literally about one facial, but if you think how I came in, and now, what do you think? I mean, even Brandon, like lovely man behind the counter. Um, but I feel well. And because I've changed how I feel when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm going to have a much better day for it because I'll feel that I'll exude energy and I will then get people's energy back that will feed me. And that's what skincare is. That's what makeup is. That's what dressing in things that make you feel good is all about how can we emit an energy that feels good, which makes other people feel good and they give it back to us. Have a wonderful day. Catch up soon.